So being a songwriter slash guitar player, there comes a lot of recorded ideas that I have, and sometimes they can be hard to complete without having some sort of drum idea to just help carry the tune a little further. We've all been there, we all record that one really great guitar riff or chord progression, you're like, this is great, and then you get stuck. Me personally, I like to add some drums, synths, and things like that, just to kind of spark some newer ideas. <laughs> group recently reached out to me to see if I wanted to try out their indie pop drum software since they saw that I create a lot of indie pop, indie psych rock based tunes on my channel. So when I finally dug into it, I was pretty impressed and pleased with it, so I decided to do a demo on it. They aren't paying me to say any of this, this is all just my honest review and demo of the Prism taped indie pop drum software. Now obviously it's good because I wouldn't be doing a demo of it if I thought it sucked. So by the end of the video, you will know if this drum software is right for you since there is a lot on the market. I'm gonna give it a brief overview. I'll show you all of the different drum sounds, its, kind of, it's layouts, all of its special features, and I'll also be going over their nostalgic synth Unity that you'll be hearing throughout this video. So with all of that out of the way, let's dive in. So first I'm gonna give you a brief overview of the layout of this plugin. So when we first open Prism Taped, this is the main menu. There's a dial here. This just dials in about the amount of compression you want. And then there's something called Sauce that I'll talk about in a second. Now this giant triangle, which looks pretty crazy, you can move this around and manipulate different kick sounds, snare sounds, claps, hi-hats, uh, open hi-hats, toms. It just kind of changes the sound of the beat or drum track you are currently playing, which I'll show you right now. Now for the overall sound of our drums that we want to tweak, this is where almost 80% of it happens. So. We have our kick, snare, clap, close hi-hat, open hi-hat, high tom, low tom, and crash. Now, for each of these, we can swap through the couple different samples. Now, they're all right here. Um, I don't know why I pointed, you can use my mouse. Uh, we have Golden, Circles, Spark, Cali, Espresso, Enigma, Impalas, uh, Phoenix, Sunset, and Radiance, and you can also uh, change it here. So as you can see, it just, it, the menu goes down when you go through each of these and you can so you can pretty much pretty much mix mash uh, let's say you want a spark snare sound with the Phoenix kick the options are limitless now we have a few other parameters we can tweak such as compression uh, now this means it's on when it's like lightly dimmed it means it's off um, we can control threshold ratio attack release makeup and mix stereo which is something that I use actually a lot especially for like if I want the song to really, really kick, I'll use this on like the snares, the kicks and things like that. You can include the level of mix you want that stereo sound to be. We have an exciter, which can just gives you saturation, the level of output, transient, attack, sustain level, pitch. It's not something that I use pretty often, but it can really come in handy. The reverb, uh, you get a few different sounds, uh, cathedral, drum room, ethan ethanol, I'm dumb, I can't say things sometimes. LAF, mids only, sizzle, studio A, subtail, TAW, trailer D, trailer H, and then back to cathedral, and you can control the mix. This as well, and just remember that uh, this is all just for the kick right now. This isn't for the drums as a whole. So when you go to snare, you change these parameters. So it, this isn't like this isn't like the whole mix for the whole drum kit. This is for each individual 
um, piece on the kit. So we got delay, which is really, really helpful. We have HP, LP, and we also have EQ. And then we have overall volume of whatever instrument, I mean, whatever piece of the, the kit we're on overall volume, we can pan it left, right, or center. Now, like I said, this is where you really dial in your drum sound. Uh, now, if you want to find these drum sounds, we go into here. Now, you start a prism tape, the mini pack, you get into the grooves, slow, medium, or fast, and then we get into the types of patterns. Now, we have a few other settings down here. We have time, so we can do half time, normal, or double time, which it's also very helpful, so you don't have to change any BPMs and, and things like that with some other drum softwares you have to, uh, you can use. Uh, and then settings, tightness, swing, velocity, which is pretty uh, standard for drum plugins. I'll show you these sounds in a sec, but I wanna finish off the rest of these. So master, this will give you, uh, will mix your whole drum sound as a whole. It won't do the individ individual sounds like these. So the effects is for each individual, and then the master will control everything you just mixed. So you really can dial in a sick drum sound for a record you're making or a song, and it's it's very easy to do so. Once you kind of get used to the layout and how the compression sound on the snares and, and the hi-hats or whatever, then once you kind of get a better feel of how this uh, software works, you're golden. Now for the master, we have compression, tape, limiter, and the secret sauce. So going into the drum sounds, what I like about this is that you can pick whatever one you want. Let's say we go to medium and we want to check out echoes. It won't play when you click it, right? But, which is fine because you have a little play button down here that will play it. The reason that sounds so hectic is because I'm on a double time. So let's bring that down to normal. So let's say I'm like, hey, I like the beat, but I don't like uh, the, the snare sound. So I can change that. Bring down that hi-hat, it's too loud for me. All right, so let's say we just want reflections and this is the drum sound we now have. And that's what we want to start with. If you want to put it into your doll, you just click MIDI. I'm sorry, you drag this into your doll. You're not gonna be able to see it on the screen, but you just click where it says MIDI, hold down, drag it into uh, wherever the area is that you want the drums to sound at B and then you're good to go. Now that's pretty much just the overview of uh, how this software works and I'll get into some drum sounds now. So I'm just gonna keep this drum sound rolling and then I'm gonna change the different patterns and grooves so you can just hear the changes as they happen. So when you, let's say you dial in a really cool sound, you have a really great kick and snare sound, the hi-hat's at the perfect level, it's panned a little bit to the left, let's say, the volume's just right, you got a little reverb on it, and, but the beat isn't working anymore. When you change like the beat or whatever, it doesn't change these effects. These all stay the same, which is a really, really great feature. There's uh, some plugins that I've used where when you change this, all your effects go away, it all changes, and you kind of have to redial all that in. So that's a really great thing about Prism Taped. Now, Ava Music Group has tons of different plugins, ranging from other drum plugins, uh, vocal plugins, synth plugins, sound effects, and things like that. Now, if you've been watching this video and you like the sound of the drums, but maybe the style isn't right for you, they do have other drums, uh, lo-fi drums, modern, retro, pop, and urban legend. So maybe you can check them out and they would be a better fit for you. Now, they all cost under 60 bucks I believe which comparatively to a lot of other plugins on the market that's pretty good and like I mentioned earlier I said I'd be using their nostalgic synth which is called unity it's super fun and inspiring to play it has one of the coolest layouts I've seen on a synth plugin there are so many different like little tweaking knob situations you can do you can mix mash all these sounds together vintage modern whatever and I am still playing with it to understand it fully and get all of the sounds that I want that are in my head. I will dive deeper into this plugin because it's, it's genuinely very, very cool. Uh, but here are just a few different sounds just so you can get a little taste of it. And then right after those quick little sound demos, I'll jump into who uh, the Prism Tape drum software is for. Thank you. 
So who is Prism taped for and is it right for you? If you record an idea and you want a simple but effective drum to help carry the tune further, then this is definitely for you. Throwing this in the mix will no doubt open a floodgate of different ideas for the song that you're writing or creating. If you love pop, indie pop, psych rock, these drums will easily guide your song into the right direction and it sounds great. Now it's only 66 bucks and when you compare that to let's say hiring somebody, hiring a drummer to play on your track, it's gonna cost you a lot more studio time, paying the session player and all that. Now even if you aren't looking to use these drums as the final product uh, of your songs, and you're more so using it as a demo kind of thing, then it's also a great plugin to use to convey those drum ideas you have to let's say a drummer that you're hiring to actually record the drums on your track. Now these could easily be on a produced record or a single of yours. And with the tweaking of its different effects and knobs, you will build and find a killer drum sound for whatever you're working on. So honestly, there really isn't a limit for who this is for. If you're just looking to get some demo drums and simple drum ideas, use it. If you're looking for a finalized drum for your song, also use it. It's whatever you think works best for you and your creative process. Now me personally, I use these as a starting point to see where I want to take the song. Some, some tracks I'd be like, these drums sound good as is, I'm going to keep them, I will mix them with, within the song, I'll get it mastered, like these drums will be part of the song. And then other times, let's say I want more of a humanistic feel, I will use these to convey the ideas that I have in my head in order to uh, show the drummer I hire to record the drums on it. All in all, Prism Tape is a great drum software that you can use for whatever indie-based uh, music project you're working on. I hope you enjoyed this video and kind of dug what Ava Music Group has created between the Unity Synth and the Prism Tape. And also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. I post all sorts of other videos just like this one. So thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.